Okay, I gotta film this full gram, got time. Because <laughs> I'm in his room. <laughs> So I am currently waiting on some really important news that I can't really share about yet. It's not anything really to do with Twitch and YouTube, but it's my personal life and things to do with like uni and my career and I'm just like really nervous. Um, and I kind of thought that this would be a really good time to film this. I've been wanting to film this video for a while now, but I didn't really have like the sensory objects does that make sense it sounds i don't know for me i feel like it sounds weirdly sexual and it's not basically how i was introduced to sensory objects and stress relief is through therapy um and basically i have always had anxiety i don't remember a time in my life when i wasn't anxious or stressed and when I was in therapy one day with a new therapist, they gave me this box and in the box there was things that were like fluffy and like um, squishy or like Play-Doh, all this stuff. And he said, go through that box and just touch and feel things and see what makes you feel calm. That's what I did. And I ended up picking Play-Doh as just like the object that calmed me down. And since then I have bought like a two dollar tub of play-doh and i use it all the time in every exam in every panic attack uh stressful phone calls things like that that is what i use to calm down even before like big things on twitch or youtube i need to relax i grab my little tub of play-doh and i just knead it in my hands like under my desk and it really just takes my stress away and I don't know how to explain it but it's just been something that's really helped me over the last few years getting through uni and today I wanted to make a video about sensory objects there's these different uh, textured things that I've bought that I want to kind of just try and, and talk about and just see what effect they have so yeah let's get into it so the first one I have is Play-Doh I have a couple of tubs of Play-Doh now that I keep in my desk. I think I keep one in my car as well. Basically all I do is I just take out a bit, like I don't even need like the full thing. Um, unless I am using both hands, then I will use the entire tub of Play-Doh. But all I do is literally just press it, knead it, and just like kind of work with it. And it just helps, it helps me just like catch my breath um, and it relieves pressure in my chest. I don't I don't know how to explain it. I know this sounds absolutely crazy, but um, it's what's helped me. Play-Doh is my go-to. It may not work for you, like maybe it's not the texture that works for you, but for me, it's just super helpful. But that is not the reason why I'm here today. I already know that Play-Doh works. We are here to try some new things. So one thing that I guess is the least new in my little collection of items today is something that I bought a while ago. Um, also, if you can hear like someone mowing their lawn, I am so sorry. Apparently someone just really wants to do yard work today and yesterday and just any time that I'm filming. So if you can hear that, I am so sorry. I'm gonna have to move house. The first thing that is, I guess, the least new in my little collection is uh, something that I discovered through a friend at the time and it's called, I, I think it's an anxiety bunny. Um, and it's basically this adorable fluffy bunny and it's got like a little keychain and you can hook it onto like your purse or your handbag and just, it is the softest thing. And honestly, just, having it so accessible like by having it on your handbag or your keychain it's really cute to have on there and it looks really cute but it's also really accessible like if you're having a panic attack in public if you have like anxiety around crowds or people or people standing too close to you it's a, it's really easy to reach down and just catch your breath by feeling how fluffy it is um i highly recommend it it's it's really cute and uh it has helped me out in public a few times when, you know, like I can't really pull out like a tub of later. So I'll grab this instead. And yeah, it's also just really cute. 
All right, this is actually stuff that I've bought that I haven't tried yet. Um, and I am trying for the first time here with you guys today. The first one that I have is Alma's Goo. So instead of glue, it's goo and it's cotton candy fizz scented. Safe, non-toxic and I think it's just slime. I think it's just glittery scented slime. And I'm definitely gonna get my hands messy today, but Oh, it's, it's a lot harder in texture than I thought it was going to be, but also very, like, slippery. The scent is very strong, and it it's kind of like fake cotton candy, if that makes sense. Like, it's a very, like, manufacture, like, not... It doesn't smell like cotton candy, like, that you get, like, at a fair. I don't, I don't smell that. Um... It is definitely slime, and it is definitely a lot uh, thicker than I thought it would be. I do like the resistance that it has. Um, that is nice. I don't like the smell. The smell is something that I'm not. I'm not really here for it. It's kind of satisfying to like push in and play with. In terms of portability I don't think it's very uh you know as friendly as like the bunny or like the play-doh it's in a pretty decent sized container it's also really hard to get out of the container whereas play-doh you can kind of just get it out of there which is very helpful um yeah like I don't know I guess I'm rating these it's it's good to need and stuff like it's got little crackling sounds. It's 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 good to need. I don't. I hate the smell. It's making me feel so sick. Um, but yeah, I like the color. I like the texture of it. I, the sliminess. It's slime. So like you know. Well, sorry, goo. But I think I'd still prefer to just need Play-Doh than this personally. The the smell and yeah, the smell is just putting me off. So I think. I guess I'm rating them out of 10. I give it a 6. 6 out of 10 for the Elmer's Goo. That smell. Next up is Sensory Poppers Everfoam Slimy. Endless Sensory Fun. And it is pink. It's definitely a lot more chunky than uh, the Elmer's Goo. And I haven't actually tried this yet. I bought it and I went to try. I was like, I'm going to wait for the video. Okay, <laughs> straight up, this, okay, it is sticky and grippy and the sounds coming from it are like, very, like you know when there's like ASMR and people are like, this massages my brain, that's the kind of vibes I'm getting from this, like it's just like, my brain's like, this, this is good shit. I want to try and like get some of it out. Is that even possible? It is. Oh, okay. I see what we're doing. I see what we're doing with this. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try and get a decent chunk out. Okay. So once again, in terms of being able to carry it around and stuff, it like it would fit in a handbag, but it's also not really subtle. The rabbit, I feel like, is subtle. However, this is better than the Elmer's Goo. I don't know if you can hear these sounds. <laughs> they are so good. And, like, it's also sticky, but it, it cleans itself up. It's kind of like glue tack in a way. It, it's, it's, like, a bit malleable, but not... It doesn't have, like, a lot of resistance, which... Kind of brings it down for me. I like to be able to like, you know, pull stuff apart. Like the the slime, the goo was good for that. But this you can't really do that with. It's also kind of just getting all over my fingers the more I play with it. It does clean itself up, but once you've started playing with it, it's definitely got some residue on there and it's definitely harder to get off. However, I do like how easy it is to play with. I do like the sounds. I am getting really annoyed with how these little like balls are just like getting stuck to my fingers. And just rolling it like that, I think that would probably be one thing I do. I don't think 
I think it's more for something like rolling and like passing between hands you get the sound it's not messy I'm sorry if the angle changed my battery just died so I had to like do the whole thing um, so sorry if that's changed um, I think for the sensory poppers ever foam I don't like how messy it can get when you're pulling it apart I don't like that aspect of it I do like the sound I like the color it's very vibrant I like passing it back and forth doing all that that is really nice it's not very like travel friendly I guess in terms of like pulling it out in public but like if you're in like a car or on a plane or something like could work I'm going to give you so the last one I gave a six I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it an eight I think the only thing that's really stopping it for me is just these these tiny little balls just getting stuck to my fingers and just causing that extra bit of stress of like cleaning those up so, 8 out of 10. This one is one that I have tried in the past, not this brand, but I have tried uh, Kinetic Sand uh, in the past. And basically it's like this sand that you can play with and everything. And it's it's just, I don't know how to put into words. Right. I'm not gonna get too deep into this because I'm in Graham's room and it's sand and like, it's a whole thing, it needs its own setup. Um, but I will set that up and record a separate thing to show you what that's like. Okay. Okay, straight up. Straight up. I love this. I fucking love kinetic sand. I don't know how to put into words, but it's like, when you squish it, it goes like hard. And then if you just leave it, it just falls apart and it's just like super soft it's really fun to play with and i really like it i think it can be messy um i think that's definitely something that you kind of have to like have like a bit of prep for like a bit of setup you can't just like pull this out just randomly in public and just start playing with the kinetic sand i, do, I just feel like it would get everywhere um definitely more of a at home thing but <laughs> this is definitely a favorite um, and I also really like I got this from Kmart and it was like I think like eight dollars for this bucket uh, which is a lot of sand mind you like I don't think I would need to get any more um, and then it's also come with like little like sand castle bits and I can like build my own little sand castle I love it yeah that's yeah nine out of ten the only reason it's a nine is because like yeah as I said it can get messy and uh, there is a bit of setup for it, but yeah, sensory wise and stress relief wise, it's just so fun to play with. Um, and also if you're looking to get this from Kmart, they don't call it kinetic sand. This is the Enco brand and it is blue magic sand. So, um, they have a lot of different colors and stuff, but, um, not sponsored as well. Um, but if you're looking to get the same one that I have, it is called blue magic sand, not kinetic sand. The last sensory object that I have to try is one, I haven't even opened it, um, and it is Play-Doh Foam. Now, you guys know how I feel about Play-Doh, I fucking love Play-Doh. Play-Doh is amazing, 20 out of 10. Play-Doh Foam. I have no clue what to expect. Basically, what I want to expect from this is the sound, the resistance, the, uh, I hope it's not a gross smell. Um, yeah, I think those are my main criteria. I'm hoping that it's going to be better than uh, the poppers, um, but especially of the goo. It is Play-Doh brand. I have high hopes, but we'll see. Let's get into it. Okay, straight up, it made a sound when I took the lid off. It's got little um, little beads in it. I don't know if you can see that. Let's give it a go. This is what I wanted. Okay, the sound. This is amazing. Oh my God, this is what I wanted. Let's try and get some out. Oh. 
the resistance is definitely there. It's very pullable, very malleable. The sounds are amazing. Definitely worth my money. I'm happy. That is really good that I feel, yeah, I'm happy that I bought this. Um, what would I rank it? I'm gonna rank it a 10 for a slime. Uh, it has the texture, it has the sound, it has the color. The smell isn't great, but it's it's also something I feel like you've kind of got to pay attention to to be able to notice it. It's not really strong, so I'm not too phased by that. Um, yeah, I think it's a 10, a nine or a 10. Um, it's definitely up there with the kinetic sand and the Play-Doh for sure. Um, yeah, Play-Doh did really good with this and this. So that leaves me to answer this question. Does anything beat the OG that is Play-Doh? Um, for me personally, no. I think the Play-Doh foam comes in close to beating this. But this is the OG for me. I think also the nostalgia, because it's Play-Doh and, you know, my childhood was making things out of Play-Doh. So definitely has that nostalgic thing for me as well as the texture, the smell, um, and just how easy it is to carry around. It's also really cheap. It's like $2 for one of these. And yeah, it's really accessible. I really, this is my go-to. However, I am really glad that I tried these other products. Um, I will definitely be using a lot of these. I think I doubt I'm going to be using this. I, I think the Elmer's Goo was the worst one for me. It just, the smell alone, it just makes me so nauseous. Um, and it just didn't really have a great payoff in terms of the texture. It felt like weird on your hands and it just, yeah, not my favorite, not my favorite. Um, if I'm ranking them, I would say Play-Doh at the top, um, Play-Doh foam next. I would do Kinetic Sand probably equal with the Play-Doh foam. Um, it just depends. If you've got an area for it, if you've got like the setup, this is definitely equal to the foam. Um, then I'd do the Bunny, uh, the Sensory Poppers, and the Elmer's Goo in last. So that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I hope it was somewhat helpful. And yeah, if you have anxiety or stress like me um, and you're looking for something to help relieve that a bit, I highly recommend going out to toy stores, going out to you know your local Target, Big W, Kmart and finding something that works for you. See you guys in the next one. Bye.